Gi Jiu Jitsu is useless for MMA. No Gi Jiu Jitsu is better. This is a stance I've held for years. It's well documented. This is not clickbait. But this is my first time explaining it to the masses. Okay. I feel this way strongly. I am preface a blue belt in both of them. Gi and no Gi Jiu Jitsu. So let's actually explain the differences of it so you can follow why I feel this stance. Gi Jiu Jitsu is actually called Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's the correct name for it. Okay, no gi jiu jitsu is actually called submission wrestling. That is the correct name for it. And my experience with submission wrestling is also another reason why I've said wrestling is overrated for MMA as well. But that is a totally different topic that I'm not going to delve into. We're going to talk about gi and no gi. We're going to talk about the differences. So in gi jiu jitsu, you have a jacket. I do not. I, I should have had that ready. I usually have a, it's a jacket that you wear. It's much more slower and it's like really heavy. You get the grab on it. It's rough. It's tough. Yada, yada, yada. I would even argue, um, but that's, that's debatable if gi jiu-jitsu is useful for self-defense. That's debatable though. I, I can't debate that one. That's debatable. But you're used to, you, you wear a jacket for gi. No gi jiu-jitsu, you wear a rash guard, Okay. And, and these are the these are the differences, the visual difference in Gi Jiu Jitsu, which is actually called Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You can visually see someone wears their belt in no Gi Jiu Jitsu, which is also called submission wrestling. You just see people with rash guards. So what are the top complaints that Gi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys complain about no Gi? OK, what are the differences? If you sit and ask a, a Gi Jiu Jitsu guy. Why does he not like no gi if he predominantly does gi? They will say this. I can't get my grips. It's too fast. It requires athleticism. And they say it's slippery. Those are the three things. Can't get grips. Can't, can't grab the clothes. It requires athleticism. It's too fast. And it's slippery. I think that's all essentially the same thing. But if you guys are, if they are complaining like that about no gi, as a person that has trained MMA solidly, solidly for two years, let me burst your bubble and tell you MMA is 10 times more slippery and more athletic than no gi. So if you're used to going slow and methodical, because that's what Brazilian Jiu Jitsu does, it's all about slow and methodical. They always sometimes often complain, don't be spazzy. They actually hamper, in my opinion, the, where I was at. And all the ones that I've seen, they don't like when you try to use your, use your athleticism, okay? So imagine if you're used to slow, methodical, getting your grips, and suddenly you get to something that's 10 times faster, slippery, no grips, than no gi. You won't know what the hell is going on. Everybody's slipping out. You, you can literally have a white belt, and you could be like a purple belt in gi, and he will slip out everything that you're trying to throw at him. Because you're used to having a jacket with friction. It's the friction. That's the problem why I feel it's useless. Okay? Now, in no gi jiu-jitsu, however, because you're used to... Now, this is a FYI. I wear long sleeves due to... Despite the fact that it's slippery, I actually use this to for friction. When you see me wearing the full-length Spider-Man costumes, that's actually for friction. When they're trying to escape from my triangles, that's for friction. In MMA, your technique has to be even tighter, faster, because there's really no friction, except for maybe their hair. You get what I'm saying? You have to grab bones. It's all in the your reaction system, and that's honestly what I care about. If you're used to slow methodical, when, you're move, when it's time to move fast... You're, you're trying to grab for grips, and all of a sudden, you're just grabbing skin. They slip right out. That's one of the major reasons when I've decided looking at it, because they only they have to rely on shirts for grips and not grabbing bone, because they complain about athleticism and it being slippery, is the reason why I just feel it's useless. There is – here's a great example. If you've ever seen – the Queen's Gambit is on Netflix. It's about this girl named Beth Harmon, and she's a fictional character where she's extremely good at chess, okay? 
And I'm talking this girl, like when she, she's in the orphanage, she takes some drugs and she starts literally hallucinating about chess and she becomes a prodigy. OK, there's this one scene. It's so perfect. There's this one scene where she's dealing with a guy who she's clearly better than. OK, but then they start playing speed chess. This guy beats her. He runs circles around her and she's a prodigy because they're moving fast as a, as a chess player there is a difference there's different rankings of chess you have your rapid you have your blitz and you have your bullet chess they were playing speed chess boom 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 and this prodigy was losing by a guy who she mollywops when they're slow thinking that is the same thing for brazilian jiu-jitsu and mma it's the same thing what's the difference and so if brazilian jiu-jitsu is a slow methodical and gi no gi jiu-jitsu is basically the speed chess Oh, wow. That is actually a good analogy. There we go. That's a perfect analogy. So, Gi Jiu-Jitsu is the slow methodical, right? Then when you go in the middle, which is no Gi Jiu-Jitsu, that right there is the speed. That's counted as speed chess, which they, which they call blitz chess, okay? But then when you go to bullet chess, bullet chess literally is one minute or two minutes. That counts as bullet chess. That's MMA, so imagine if you're used to 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, right? And suddenly now you have to move in one minute intervals. Like, boom, boom, boom. Useless. I'm telling you, useless. This is why everyone claims jujitsu is useless for MMA today. They're like, oh, jujitsu doesn't work in MMA. Everyone's shutting it down. No, it's just, it's the way they're practicing it. That's that's just what it is. It's the way they're practicing it. So I have I hope that changes the the I hope that explains how I feel about it. Um, I would there's also it's also debatable in my mind if it's good for self-defense. But that's a debate. That's something I am willing to present. But if someone debates me, that's kind of to each their own. I do feel wrestling is overrated due to the fact we have submission wrestling, which is no gi jiu-jitsu. And I can make that for another separate video if you guys want to hear that. And then uh, another thing, another problem that I have with gi jiu-jitsu guys is gi jiu-jitsu guys have this attitude. You have to, ooh, this is another one. It's the culture of gi jiu-jitsu that I cannot stand. They have this attitude that they are the best martial art ever. And like it, gi jiu jitsu is good, but they think it's the only thing they need and they refuse to go learn something such as striking. So that's another long problem. And that's also why I kind of feel it's not good for self-defense. It's a it's the thinking system, too. But I, I, I think I, I've gotten to the point to recap it. I feel gi jiu jitsu is slow if we're if we're comparing it to like chess. In chess, there's three different basic styles of chess. You have rapid, which is a slow methodical. You have blitz chess, which is like three minutes to five minutes. And then you have bullet chess, which is, I'm talking flying speed chess. Gi jiu-jitsu is the rapid, slow methodical. No gi jiu-jitsu is the blitz. And MMA is the bullet, okay? And if you're used to going really, really slow and taking your time, when someone's moving fast, you ain't going to be able to move quick enough and you won't have the reaction time to be able to deal with that. So I hope that right there helps you guys out. That's why I feel Gi Jiu-Jitsu is useless for MMA. If you have anything that else you want to add to it, go ahead. But this is a stance I have held for such a long time. And I'm not changing this. I, I've had this stance for years. I piss off so many people when I'm in the gym and someone asks me this question, hey, Smith, you think I, I want to do MMA? Do you think I should be doing Gi Jiu Jitsu? I'm like, it's useless. And then I, I, I've i said it in Black Belt's face. It's useless. It's useless for MMA. They get so heated. I'm like, I stand on that. You're not changing my mind. I'm not kissing your ass because you're a Black Belt. No, your shit is useless for MMA. You're going to get a lot of people. You know, it's it's it actually saddens me greatly when I see somebody with such great talent and striking, and they are practicing gi jiu-jitsu. I'm just like, oh my god. And also, gi jiu-jitsu, they don't like leg locks. Oh my, you, I'm gonna stop there. You guys get my point. That's another thing too, but 
You know what? Nah, forget that. I'm going I'm to I'm add that. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add that. It's the rule set for Gi Jiu-Jitsu as well. They say leg locks are bad, okay? That's another thing. Leg locks are bad, as they, they claim. <laughs> it's um, it's kind of like the uh, those Chinese martial arts where they're like, oh, I will poke you in the eye, right? These are forbidden techniques. They do not allow certain techniques to happen which also hampers the, the, the style of it. So like, for example, in Gi Jiu-Jitsu, they have this rule called reaping. I'm not going to go over that. But basically, if you put your foot too far when you're going for a leg lock, you're disqualified. Whereas in no Gi Jiu-Jitsu, you are, you know, you can basically do leg locks. What does leg locks have to do anything? Now, I hear people say leg locks don't work in MMA, but that's the problem because they don't you, – we haven't quite yet had a predominantly no gi jiu-jitsu specialist come into MMA like that. But the problem of – this is like a bonus idea, and I can make a whole other video about this. The reason why leg locks don't work in the MMA is the mindset as well. You can't just be a leg locker and come to MMA and think you're going to leg lock this guy. It's too slippery. <laughs> But leg, there's three options for leg locks, and this is the problem I feel um, that people don't understand. You don't just go for the submission. There's two other options. You either get the sweep or you take their back. That's a whole other topic, but if you don't understand this and you are not used to being able – when you're on your back and all you're used to is trying to sweep somebody, right? And they have – they're like, oh, he's just trying to flip the position. I can just punch him in the face. But they have no, like, actual um, regard that you might be dangerous on your back. Like, that that limits the style. That's another thing. Gi Jiu-Jitsu limits itself, okay? So not only, not only you're telling me that you are slow and methodical and everything is slippery and there's no grips – but you're also telling me that you can't practice one of the most crucial aspects when you're on your back until you're a black belt? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Right? And then uh, what's the – there's one last thing I wanted to say on this. No, I think that's it. Oh, my God. It, it's just it's just too limited. Too, too limited of a martial art in my opinion. And then – oh, there we go. That's the last one. And then uh, a lot of – if if gi jiu-jitsu jiu guys – had judo in the curriculum, I might have a different tone. I might have a different tone due to having judo. But they don't even practice judo. <laughs> you got to go to a judo school. So there we go. That's all I got to say. You guys take care. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Comment below whatever you think. And yeah, I'm going to piss off somebody, but I stand on it. You're not changing my mind. Take care.